Taxi Driver is a dark and intense story of Travis Bickle, a Vietnam War veteran who becomes a taxi driver in order to cope with his insomnia and feelings of emptiness. Following the PTSD from the war, Travis has become an insomniac, so he starts driving around New York, watching the city and its people who he refers to as sick and trash. Travis is really disgusted by the filth of the city, which he witnesses every night in the form of crimes, forced prostitution, and much more. Beside all this, Travis has started liking a campaign runner named Betsy, who he has fixated on ever since he saw her. And one day, he walks up to her and asks her out on a date. Travis appears charming, so Betsy agrees to the date, but later regrets it when Travis takes her to an adult movie. Understandably, Betsy gets scared away by Travis, and whatever chance he had with her vanishes away. But that only makes him more obsessed with Betsy. And after finally realizing he has no luck with her, Travis decides. Meanwhile, still disgusted by the city and the various counts of prostitution he sees almost every night, Travis dreams of cleaning the city by getting rid of the scum. Eventually, Travis's anger and paranoia boil over, and he decides to take action. He starts undertaking intense physical training and soon gets himself four handguns from the black market. Thanks to the troubling existential crisis, and now all the weaponry he has, Travis starts seeing himself as a powerful force that will soon free the city and its people from the plague that has been eating them. In his first act of heroism, Travis shoots and kills a man who's trying to rob a convenience store. One day, Travis meets an underage prostitute named Iris, who he's seen multiple times, and has fantasized about saving her. He tries to persuade Iris into quitting her job and how he can help her, but saving Iris isn't all that Travis thinks of. He wants to do something bigger, and for that he has his eyes set on a presidential candidate named Charles Palantine. One day, Travis cuts his hair into a mohawk, and attends a public rally where he plans to assassinate Palantine. However, he's stopped by the Secret Service agents, and Travis makes a run for his life. After the failed assassination, Travis sets out to save Iris. He enters the building where Iris works at and guns down Iris's pimp and one of her clients, a mafia boss. Travis kills everyone that gets in his way of saving Iris, who's just shocked at the sight of the gruesome violence. As police respond to the scene, a delirious Travis imitates shooting himself in the head using his finger. Later, Travis is held as a hero for saving an underage girl from prostitution, and it's not prosecuted for his murders. He even receives a letter from Iris's father thanking him. After recovering, Travis returns to work, where he encounters Betsy as a fair. They interact cordially, with Betsy saying she heard about him in the newspapers. Travis drops her at home and declines to take her money, driving off with a smile. It looks as if everything's fine and Travis is finally at peace, until he sees something in his rearview mirror that agitates him. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed this short recap of a classic movie, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Minute Recaps.